Okay, follow me here. Virtual babies who grow up in real time will be commonplace by 2070, an expert predicts. <laughs> I hear you already. Let's find out together what the hell a virtual baby is. <laughs> This in a report at Study Finds. Now remember, I react to these as you do as I'm reading them. That's how I put these together. What some people are calling an overpopulation crisis. <laughs> I think the jury's still out on that, too. <laughs> Could be solved within 50 years thanks to the evolution of virtual children. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Let's tap the brakes here, folks. My 1995 flying toaster screensaver didn't mean that actual flying toasters existed. I just want to point that out. Okay, I can tell this one's going to peak my cynicism meter, so I'm just saying. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's press on. This claim is being made by one of Britain's leading artificial intelligence experts. Computer-generated babies that cost about $25 a month, <laughs> I see where this is going, are likely to become commonplace by the early 2070s, according to Catriona Campbell. <laughs> That's her right there. In addition to her expertise in AI, Campbell is one of the UK's top authorities in emerging and disruptive technologies and a former UK government advisor. And probably a geek or a nerd. <laughs> I threw that in. She says augmented reality, or what people call AR, and haptic touch-sensitive gloves will make the experience potentially lifelike. Sounds beautiful. Yes, I'm actually not virtually rolling my eyes. I'm really rolling them. By that time, up to one in five parents may decide to opt for a digital baby over a real one, she believes. It will create what is being dubbed the Tamagotchi Generation, the first cohort of environmentally friendly digital children who will not deplete the planet of any of its natural resources. Okay. You know what? If you think of children as things that deplete the planet of its natural resources, maybe you're better off with one of these virtual babies. I find it necessary to sometimes remind folks that we humans are part of nature too, just like the rest of the creepy crawlies. <sighs> she says they will exist only in virtual metaverses, a sort of 3D internet where they will grow up in real time and come to life at the touch of a button. <laughs> so, they will exist in the computers and minds of people who are still living in their parents' basement or attic. <laughs> I threw that in. Parents will see and interact with their offspring through next-generation AR glasses and haptic gloves. These devices, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look so sweet? These devices allow users to experience a realistic sense of touch when handling a virtual or holographic object. According to Campbell, while the concept might seem unpalatable, it represents a viable long-term solution to birth control without preventing people from having children. Okay, you know how people have children? Does everybody know that? Okay. Do we think that's going to stop? I'm just saying. Okay. So just hook me up to the Matrix with a feeding tube and let me raise my virtual baby and family. That sounds fun. This just feels like a real pessimistic way to look at life. I'm sorry. All this talk about overpopulation and people trying to control it makes me a bit nervous. I've seen this movie. Nature will take its course on this, folks. Uh, we'll adapt in whatever way we need to, I promise. Campbell thinks as many as 20% of people will choose to have an AR baby over a real one. So as the theory goes, digital children will likely exist, as we said before, in the metaverse a computer-generated virtual world that will suck the life out of you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> a virtual world that can be thought of as a three-dimensional internet. Here, parents will be able to interact with their children in digital environments of their choosing, such as sitting in a room or a park or a swimming pool. Okay. <laughs> when I have my hover car and my food synthesizer that I was promised, by this time, back when I was a kid, we can start talk about the creepy digital real-life world. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I will believe it when I see it. I have enough trouble sitting through someone's family photos already. I'm certainly not going to get into their virtual family pictures. Okay, I told you I was going to be cynical about this. Here's all I'm saying. Let's see what happens, but having a baby in a family is all about your children. Having a virtual baby and a virtual family, that's probably all about you. You can check out more info on this and other studies 
back i mean do we just want a bunch of selfish people who are living with these goofy hats on their heads staring into nothingness at their children or so-called virtual children okay i'm done you can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com